I have had a couple of problems with the tractor after 20 minutes or 10 minutes driving. Uh, the engine started to slow down and not being responsive to RPMs. I think I have a clock somewhere in the fuel system. That's why today I want to make sure that from the fuel tank to the fuel pump, everything is clean and checked. And if the problem is still persists, then I have to work on the fuel pump and injectors. Right here. And these three. So I believe that to remove the, the tank, there are four bolts plus the return line. This is the return line from the fuel pump. And then there are two bolts, one here and another here. And here in the front, it is a little bit more challenging. One of them is this one with the spring. And there is another one with the spring behind the thermostat. I'm gonna remove the pickup just to see if there is a strainer inside, which I don't think there is. And if there is, it might be in pretty bad shape. No, there is not. I'm gonna remove the fuel sender to check if it's working and it's gonna be also better to clean the tank. So here it is. No float. The float has to be somewhere inside, so obviously I need a new one. Yeah, and the gas tank is pretty rusted inside. I have cleaned the fuel tank on a caustic tank, an ultrasonic, so everything is clean inside out. I'm going to give it a coat of uh, paint and I'm going, to install, I'm going to start installing the new sender, new valve and getting everything ready. Rostolian, this tip for the spray can, no thank you. All school tip, way better than this one. This tractor will not win the prize for the best paint job but it's gonna look a lot better. All right, let's make some noise. Choke. There we go. Now some simple green. And I'm gonna be scrubbing all over the place. Just to get all the gunk loose. Today is elbow grease day. Well, this is definitely much better than before. So this is as clean as I can have it for now with the tools I have. I'm gonna order some uh, additional parts like this hose, which is starting to crack over here. Uh, but other than that, everything looks good. That's gonna be all the cleaning for today. At least now I can see the injectors, all the bolts and nuts, the cover is clean. There's some additional cleaning on the engine, air shroud radiator you need to take care of your machines well the fuel tank is uh, painted and uh, it came out really good there is some uh, rust inside the tank uh, because i have it stored in uh, the garage so with the uh, moisture condensation there is some pitting and uh, today i'm going to be treating that with uh, wd-40 rust removal so i have taped all the holes and next i'm going to be using WD-40 rust remover. So I'm gonna tape that hole. So I'm just gonna agitate it all over the place so it gets everywhere. 
while the rust removal is doing its job inside the tank, I'm going to be cleaning all the uh, lines, uh, blowing them with air. And I'm going to also replace this hand pump with this one because it's leaking behind and in, in over here, so it needs a new gasket. And the price of new gasket is pretty much the price of a whole pump. So Hannah is going to be replacing this one. So this is the line from the pump to the filter. And this behind is the line from the tank to this pump. And if you're going to be doing this job, be patient because this is one of these jobs where you're going to be turning nuts like one tenth of a turn at a time. And of course, you know that the nut is not going to come loose by hand until the very end. Working with all machine, the beautiful art of improving your patience. And here we go. Yes. Nice. Yeah, definitely was leaking. I'm going to clean this with a brick cleaner. Make sure that the gasket surface is all clean and smooth. So these are the no gasket and pump. And now that I'm here, I uh, disconnected the uh, fuel, this fuel line from the filter side. So it's loose right now. And I'm going to blow from this side just to clean anything that could be inside the pipe. All right, blow in. And this is the line from the gas tank to the hand pump. All right, let's get this pump back in. Hopefully no more leaks now with this pump. That will be pretty good. Little by little, getting the all the leaks sorted out. And if you want to improve in your life, get yourself an old motorcycle, car or the tractor, whatever is up to your skill level and fix it. You're going to learn patience, anger control, self-control, being in the flow, meditation. So yeah, forget about all the mindfulness. Get yourself an old clunker and fix it. Nothing more rewarding than turning that key and everything works. That's a true superpower. And with that, the pump is installed. I'm not going to install the line from the gas tank to the hand pump yet because I don't know if I want to make a new one with an inline filter. The gas tank has a strainer, but it's not very good of a strainer. Um, and this will be like an extra safety. Uh, so I just want to think about it and we'll see. All right, next in line is uh, the fuel filter. Because of the gas tank had a lot of rust inside, uh, some of the rust came in into the uh, filter and I can see approximately half inch of rust at the bottom of the cup. So I'm going to remove the cap, clean it, and change the filter. So yeah, some rust made it to the top of the filter. Thankfully, most likely went through all the paper and came clean through the center. Yeah, this fuel system really needed a good cleanup. There we go, the cap is pretty clean now. I'm gonna install the new fuel filter 
Baldwin filters BF825. Oh, on this one is red. Now that I'm changing the color of the tractor. And with this kit, they come a lot more O-rings that I can find out where to put them. All right, so the fuel filter is installed. Let's go check the fuel tank. All right, let's see how how this worked. Let's, let's drain everything back into the, this bottle. Still a little bit of pitting, but I think this is the matter of leaving the solution a little bit longer in the tank. Next, I'm going to install the gas tank back on the engine, and I have installed these two bolts with the springs right here, so that this can in with the tank and just grab with the notches these bolts. All right, let's see if, let's see if the gas tank doesn't fight me too much. All right. completely wrong. Golly, there we go. Yes, this, uh, these springs should go at the bottom. Now the springs at the bottom, take two. All right, take three with the springs, but without the uh, nuts on the springs. That hopefully gives us a little bit of wiggle, wiggle room moving the bolt. Come on. Oh, there we go. Nice. Whew. It's looking good so far. Next, fuel sender. Here it is. Now this fuel sender is not the highest quality, but the way it works, there is a resistor right here, and it's measuring 430 ohm like this and 33 ohms like that. So you need to make sure that the uh, gauge in your dashboard, if you are going to replace a new one for a new one, or if you're going to get a new sender, it actually match that range because there are some gauges that instead of measuring 430 ohm like this, it's measuring 33 and the other way around like that. So make sure that you don't get it the opposite. And this is the sending unit that came with a very nice gasket, core gasket, the float. And this is the measuring mechanism, which is a coil and a contact. Depending where the contact is measuring the coil, it's going to be measuring a bigger or smaller Resistant. All right, I'm gonna put the gasket. The lower spot that the sender can measure in the gas tank is right here or in the other side. So make sure that you get it aligned that way, not like this or like this, but sidewise. And next, I'm gonna install a gas cap that actually works as the spring is not broken, so it's gonna make a good seal. Like so, perfect. And the next component that I'm gonna be installing in the gas tank is a new fuel valve with a strainer. I wish the strainer would be much longer because being so small, I guess it can get clogged easily. 
And that's the reason why I was thinking maybe removing this trainer and putting a inline filter on the line that goes from the gas tank to the hand pump. Yeah, I think it's gonna work pretty good. Well, the gas tank project, I think is completed. It came out really good. I think it's uh, clean inside out, painted, all new components. All that system from the tank all the way to the filter is checked and overhauled. So it feels good when you get something fixed. Thank you for watching. <laughs>